Hi, this is George from Upfish, your marketing automation expert. And today I'm gonna to be running you through an audience which shows you basically how to classify inbound LinkedIn and uh, email requests. So the reason for this, obviously, if you're sending outbound or you're doing ads or you've got a form, people fill them in, they fill them out. You maybe you've got their first name, their last name. You know why it is they're getting in contact with you. But occasionally people watch my videos, they find the email address and they'll shoot me an email. Or someone from LinkedIn will send me messages on LinkedIn. And it's a pretty boring manual process to have to go through all of that, enrich them, put them into my CRM. Now, there are automations that can do this. So for example, you can use Make, connect it to your email address, ask it to look at all new emails that come in and then use an open AI to classify them and sort out replies. But I don't like to do that for two reasons. One of them is that I have a lot of uh, email addresses. Uh, I have a lot of different sort of business interests and I don't want to be running upwards of like thousands and thousands of operations each day going through each of those emails. And secondly, not all of those emails are important. A lot of them, for example, are from my bank or from subscriptions I have or from friends and family. And I, I don't really want OpenAI to be going through those and taking that information and putting it somewhere. So um, I use a tool called ply.io. And what this will do is whenever I see something interesting, I open up a com I use my computer, in this case, Command Shift K. Oh, is my keyboard working? Command Shift K. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then it comes up with pre-built automations I have. So what happens is I build an automation in Ply. I put in a shortcut when I want to do something. I click on what I want it to do. So for example, add a prospect. And then what happens is it comes up with a form. So for example, if you imagine that I'm in LinkedIn and someone sends me a message like uh, this guy or whatever, I'm not particularly interested in it, but I'll just do a Command Shift K. Um, I'll do add a prospect. And then I'll just type in the person's name. If they have an email, so if it's an email coming from my um, from my email address, then I'll just add in their sender email. If it's the LinkedIn profile, I'll just copy and paste it in. And I'll add any notes I want there. And then it goes through an automated workflow where basically it will insert them into my CRM. So to show you how this looks like in practice, uh, let's try it like this. Let's imagine that it was a LinkedIn person. Let's just say it was me, George, my LinkedIn profile, www. Oops, no, what four Ws? Three Ws, LinkedIn.com. Sorry, my microphone is right in front of my keyboard. Let me just move this to the side a second. In slash George Woodworth and my notes. He is a cool guy. I would be lucky to work with him. And then I press done. And then it goes through an automated process. And if I come into my CRM table here at the very bottom here, there we go. I've been added already to my air table. George Woodworth, contact source LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn profile. This is what it. This is what Prospio thinks my email address is, although it's not. So that's not so good for Prospio. Company name. There's no campaign attached. This is to do with outbound stuff. And then obviously at the end here, I have the notes. He's a cool guy, so cool. And the industry I work in, and obviously the job title. I need to fix that because it shouldn't say object object. So how does this work in practice? So you imagine you're coming into LinkedIn, you get a message, you just add it in. It comes into your prospect list. Or same goes for email. So in order to do this, we use Ply.io. So as I say, this is um, a cool little website where basically you can automate functions manually if that makes sense so instead of things happening in like in make every 15 20 minutes every 30 minutes or when a webhook happens this is sort of a manual input you put in a key shortcut on your keyboard fill in the details and all goes out so in order to build this out we will come here to create and manage and I'm just going to put in new feature so and then here internal this is going to be a tool that works anywhere command bar so we add in a command text so for example add prospect so this will give you the option of things you want to do and we'll just select a, a random icon. Hopefully that will let you know what it is. So this is how the ply.io system works. You have your command, in my case, command shift K, and then I select the option add prospect. And then what's the first thing I want? The first thing I want is an interface. So what this is gonna do, is gonna collect the basic information I want. So this is gonna be a text input. This will be the, the name of the person. Uh, the next one is another text input. This will be the LinkedIn profile of the person. Uh, the next one will be an email input. So again, if this is coming from email instead of LinkedIn, I uh, have the email as my data point. If it's a LinkedIn message, it's a LinkedIn point. And then the next text input is going to be just notes. So anything else I want to add just to have it at hand. So once that's done, um, I'll run to create some sample data. So we'll use my name again, George Woodworth, www.linkedin.com slash in slash George Woodworth. Uh, my email, george at upfish.co. Notes, he is a cool guy, because I am a cool guy, you know. If you want to work with me, please send me an email, george at upfish.co. 
send me a LinkedIn message. You can find me at www.linkedin.com slash in slash George Woodworth. Or you can check out my Gumroad page where I have pretty much all of these automations for sale. I have a course which gets very, very, very good reviews. Check it out, but that's by the by. So this is the demo information. So we test it, data received, it's all green, means it's worked. So the next step is to actually um, sort out what we want to be doing, okay? So it's a pretty straightforward process from here. Um, I either have someone's LinkedIn or I have someone's email. The next step I want to do is to enrich that. So I'm going to add in a logic step here um, and I'll put in a branch. So basically either someone sent me an email or someone sent me a LinkedIn. So I will make this uh, called, I'll change it to uh, enrich details. Um, I'll call branch one, um, LinkedIn exists and I'll call branch two email exists. So here, LinkedIn branch one, what we're going to say is if from the interface, if the email is empty, so suffice to say the email doesn't exist, then the LinkedIn must exist because I wouldn't run this unless I had either a LinkedIn or an email. So if the email is empty, it will come into LinkedIn exist. And if the email is not empty, so email exists, it will come into email exists. So then I can start actually running the enrichment. So in this case, Another cool thing here is you have dev tools, okay? And so I'm going to make a post request to a URL. And what is that post request? Well, I have the LinkedIn. What I want to do is get a bit more information about the person's LinkedIn. So I'm gonna use Prospio. So I'm gonna use the Prospio LinkedIn email finder. What I do is I make a post call to this uh, URL endpoint with the LinkedIn address and it will return me hopefully their information. So the content type here is JSON. In the body it will be squiggly colon bracket url bracket colon equals and then here i'll add from my interface as a variable field the linkedin profile so this is the test that's going to run and then in terms of the custom headers i need to put in my api key so basically what this will look like since it's a header we look at the prospio uh, api documentation it's x key equals and then insert api and then, da -ba -da -ba -da, and then the various brackets and colons. So uh, I'm just going to uh, pause the video, put in my API, test the step. Basically what you do is you test the step to show you information, but I don't want you to see my API. So I'm just gonna pause it and then run it and then restart the video. Okay, so I've acted my API and I've run it against uh, my name. And yes, I've got some results here. First name George, last name Woodworth. That's my name, George Woodworth. If you're liking what you're seeing so far, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then the other various results you get from Prospio. Full name, last name, gender, blah, 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 blah. The reason I use Prospio for this instead of um, Apollo is just because Apollo is pretty expensive to, to run lots of... Um, lots of enrichment requests plus i had to use prospio for a previous project so i still have some credits remaining but this is totally I, there is no there is no preference on my part any um email enrichment tool which have the capacity to find emails based on linkedin will work fine here you just need to add in the url endpoint add in the body add in your api key and then it makes the result and we get uh, all of these results which is pretty cool so after that what i want to do is to go to Airtable and I want to create a record. So I'll click on this, I'll choose my account connection. And what's gonna happen here is this person from LinkedIn, I want them to be added into my CRM. So I've uh, made my connection. The base ID is my new CRM. Table ID is people. And it's just a simple case now of mapping up the information. So the name, if I do slash name here, oops, slash, and then name, so you see here, this is from the runtime user attributes, the int, so this is my, my information as the owner of this ply.io account. The interface here is the name I got when I manually typed it in and the, the name results from the Prospio are these ones here coming in underneath the post request. So I can either take the post request from um, Prospio as uh, the name or from my interface. I'll just use my interface because it's more likely to be accurate. So interface contact source is going to be LinkedIn inbound. LinkedIn profile is again, this is from my interface. This is what I've copied and pasted in. Email, let's see if they have it. I'll type it in. Did it find anything? So this is from the interface. I manually put this in. Let's imagine that didn't exist. This was a LinkedIn message. So my email is going to be from the Prospio result here. So I'll it in. So it's not drag and drop. You need to click on it. Company, so again, I'll type that in. Company, 
Do I have any, oops, spelled company wrong here. Company from the results, yes I do. Upfish, campaign, doesn't apply. This is all my other information. Job title, okay. So here the job title is CEO and founder and I want to use the first item. Notes, this is coming from my interface, any notes I've made because I'm such a cool guy. And then the industry, I'll type this in. Industry is advertising services apparently. So if I test this step and I come into my Airtable, oops. And I come into apply. Oops, where's my apply gone here? So I've created a record now. George Woodworth. Note should say he's a cool guy. If I come into here, I'll refresh this page. So I gave him go, George Woodworth. LinkedIn inbound. Got the information, the notes. He is a cool guy. So that works out fine. Perfect. Uh, so I've come back to apply here. And now what I want to do is to sort out the other side. So this is when someone sends me an email. I want to enrich that. So here, I'm going to make another HTTP request. So I'll go to DevTools. I'll go to make a post request to URL. But this time I am using, I am using Apollo. So I used Pros. The reason I used Prosphio before is because they have an endpoint which lets me put in someone's LinkedIn URL and return me the email plus some enrichment information. Unfortunately, they don't have an enrichment endpoint on its own. So I can't just put in George at upfish.co and it will return me a whole bunch of information. It will just say, does this is this email good or not? So for that, I'm going to use Apollo on this side. Again, it, there are other options available. I'm just using Apollo because I have a legacy account. So these kind of calls are essentially free for me. Um, for you, it might cost money. But basically what you want to put in here is just any kind of um, enrichment tool which lets you get information um, based on the person's email address. So here I'm doing a people match. Again, leaving my API key blank for you thieves who watch my videos for free and don't buy any of my shit or ask me to do freelance work. Bad, bad, bad people. In the body, it's the same as any uh, API call. So I'll put in here email as the field and the value is equal to the interface email record. Okay, and then when I run this, it will get the information. So again, I'm gonna pause it, put back in my API key, run it, unpause it, show you the results. Okay, so I've moved my face just over the API key so you can't see it. But here we have test successful. So I've got the person, George Woodworth, CEO and co-founder, blah, blah, blah. All of the information you get from Apollo, which is very, very nice and it's worked. So now again, just need to replicate the step I made before and uh, basically create a new record. So I'll just move my face back to where I feel more comfortable. And what I'm doing here is Airtable and I am creating a record. Select the connection, base ID, new CRM, table is people. So the name here is from the interface. Although again, maybe the person, they sent me an email, they've put in George Upfish, they've put his name is George. I don't actually have the full name. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use it from the post request and name and I'll map it from Apollo. So here, George Woodworth, contact source in this case is email inbound. LinkedIn profile is this one here. Email is from the interface because this is what I definitely know to be true. Company, which is called an organization in Apollo. Upfish campaign, this is all, all of these notes are just for my stuff. Job title, oops. Job title is this one here, CEO and founder. Notes, I'll take this from my interface. Oops, that's not, I don't want my name, I want my note. He is a cool guy. Apollo ID, I sometimes add this in for when I use Apollo just because it helps me, if someone replies to an email, I can, I can map it easier by an Apollo ID rather than a, a name or an email address. And finally, industry. So again, I don't map a lot of stuff. I don't need information in my in my CRM, but for you, you might wanna make use of all of the different um, options they give you, create some columns in your air table, put them out. Um, and then once that's done, it's done. So I'll test this step now. Data received, I'll come into my air table again. And now we have here another George Woodworth, email inbound. I've got my LinkedIn profile. Um, Got the, I've got a different email address. Uh, I've got the information, CEO and founder. He's a cool guy. And, uh, the Apollo ID and the industry I'm based in. So it's a very, 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 very simple workflow to make. I'm gonna have to check to see if Apply let you do templates. If they do let you do templates, I'll download this. I'll make it available for, I'll make it available for free if they do it. If they, if they let you do templates, I'll just put it on my, uh, my what page. But what I'm hoping you can see from this is the application to do automation slightly differently. So again, in my case, I get an email address, like someone sends me an email, someone sends me on LinkedIn, then I can just press Control K, add the prospect, 
and it'll be put in and it'll be enriched. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to rely on some automation going through every single one of my emails and running thousands of operations to compare it to entries and existing CRMs and enriching it and possibly enriching who my banker or even my mum if she sends me one of her job job application forms because she doesn't think that this is a good way to make a living or, or whatever that would be how i use it but the beauty of this is it can be for anything so for imagine that you just you're working you suddenly have an idea you have an automation you press command shift k and it brings up an interface where you type in um uh, basically what is on your mind and then that automatically gets turned into a linkedin post and then posts on linkedin so yes you could just you could argue i could just open up linkedin type it in myself but if you wanted open ai to generate it for you a little bit make it more relevant add in your hashtags add in your internal links or whatever it, it's an interesting thing so i'm going to be trying to build a few more different use cases on this because I, I really do like the idea of just um being able to choose when i want certain automations to run i hope you enjoyed the video again if you did like and subscribe check out my gumroad buy all my stuff um, send me some emails, send me some LinkedIn messages so I can test this out some more. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.